Hey there, it's Brad here. And today we're gonna look at this nice photo um, diffuser box that with a Bowens mount and a grid. All right, so this is a pretty good deal, at least when I got it. Um, you got you get the carrying case here, but for me, even though this is big, I'm gonna put keep this put together in my photography room because it's not that easy for me, disabled guy, to put it together once it's together. Um, now, I will say it was much easier to put together than this GVM uh, Octobox that I got. Um, one of the reasons is that it came with the poles already in it, the four poles already in uh, with sort of ball sockets um, inside the the Bowens mount ring and um, all you had to do was bend them down and fold them in place and the first three were very easy no problem um, but the fourth one I actually solicited the help of my spouse in order to hold it and while I pushed it in place um, but most people that I don't think that would be an issue but you might need a second person to put it together um, and once I did that, I mean, that was already in here, uh, then it was pretty easy to put the, um, to clip the internal diffuser in there and then, uh, Velcro the external diffuser around here and then Velcro the grid around there. Okay. So really easy. Now, one thing I'll warn you about is there, I, I saw this when I was putting it together at the corner. I saw, oh, this is a Velcro thing that comes off. And then I lifted it to go off. And then the one of the poles started to pop out of there. And I said, oh, shoot. Um, and so I had to push that back in and re-Velcro it. So even though it looks like, oh, this can do something, this little strip of Velcro under there can do something, don't, don't undo that unless you want the pole under tension shooting out of there. Um, but this, again, I think it is easier to put together like they were advertising. Um, and this is a good size box for a lot of people, provides a lot of light. Now, if you do have a box this size with the grid, it will stop down the light quite a bit. This is a 300 watt light that I have at full, full blast in there um, with both of the diffusers and the grid. Um, so this is the effect that it has to turn into it. Now I'm just using an iPhone for this, so maybe that doesn't help that much, but it's able to adjust and you can see what the drop off in light. Uh, when I had it on last night when it was dark in here without other lights on, um, this did have a, a pretty steep drop off. So I'm really happy to use this so that I don't have the light spilling onto the background if I have this coming at the the model from the side. So this is pretty cool. It's good. It's a bigger light source than, you know, one of those 27 inch Octoboxes. Um, and it's definitely different than a lantern, which is meant to get soft light all around. So this really helps you control the light. I'm happy with it. You know, nice job, nice photo. <laughs> all right. Take care, people. I hope it helped.